Hi everyone. So the neat result is out and you have got a rank. But now this rank will bring lot of uncertainties. For some of them, it brings lot of certainties. For some of them, it brings lot of cheer on the face. For some of them, it is disappointed. But for some of them, they are not sure what they do. So if you have got a good rank, now, what's a good rank? I feel a good rank is the one which helps you in taking a branch that you want to take. That's all. And then whether it is rank 1 or 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000 or 50,000 or qualification does not matter. Any rank which gives you a satisfaction so that you are able to reach to the dream or to the goal that you were looking for is a good rank. A lot of time we are very very certain that what we want to do and we have got a rank and on the basis of previous year counseling results we can identify that most likely we will be getting this particular subject in this particular college and we are content and happy though the previous year result is just an estimation we have seen over a period of time there are lots of ups and downs a branch in a particular college which is available on a previous year might not be available this time or which was not available previous year might be available at this time always keep this thing in mind another important thing that you should always keep in the mind is the previous year mop-ups please remember the mop-ups are lotteries you do not know that thing which was available in the mop-up in the previous year whether that will be available in the mop-up this year so first round and the second round are the one that broadly gives you an estimation that what are the usual branches available at a particular rank. The availability of a college is usually dependent on number of students from that particular state in the rank list. Sometimes we see a lot of students from the south, sometimes we see a lot of students from the north and same goes with the east and west. So the chances of those colleges getting filled up early becomes more specifically in the mid part of the counseling. All right. I am making this video specifically because I am getting a lot of messages from the students. Sir, I have got a particular rank. I don't know what to do. Today, I saw a student who said, sir, I got a rank of around 500. I wanted to do medicine in Delhi. I know that I will not get it. What should I do? Shall I drop it? Now, some of you will be thinking, oh my God, why don't he give this rank to me? I am getting a lot of messages. Majority of the messages are from the students who have got a rank between 5,000 to 25,000. Because in the 5,000 and 25,000, you are getting a branch, but you are not really very sure that what branch you going to get. You are compromising onto your branch. Maybe a lot, for a lot of them it is college also. Any student who has got more than 25,000 or 30,000, if that person can afford to take a seat in a private medical college by paying some amount of fee, they are usually thinking of that. So, what you should do? The topic of the video is if you have got a rank, what next? So I feel that if you have got a rank and you are reasonably sure that you are getting a branch, stop. That means you have got what you wanted in your life. That is what for which you are reading. Enjoy. If you think that you are unable to get that branch that you were looking for, if you have thought about that particular branch, just ask yourself, are you ready to compromise on your branch? If the answer is yes, then stop. And think about the counseling, enjoy this time and move ahead. Third, you have not got a satisfactory rank. Just ask yourself, do you have a capacity to read? Do you think it was not your best attempt? 
do you think there were some factors in this year which were modifiable if you think it was not your best attempt if you think there were factors which are modifiable if you think that kuch kami reh gayi there is something that you can improve and you have a capacity to read please don't stop and start reading again start reading again don't waste your time should you attend the counseling yes definitely attend the counseling but please don't stop reading keep reading you can attend the counseling if you get the branch of your satisfaction well and good well and good you have read it knowledge never goes waste it is going to pay back at some point of life if you did not get anything in the counseling you have not wasted the time and you are back on track this time will be very very crucial in your preparation a lot of people waste this time thinking that let us wait for the counseling let us wait for this thing i have a very very simple principle in the life and that is don't stop till the time you have got what you wanted just ask yourself are you getting what you wanted if the answer is no i am not getting what i wanted then what are you waiting for please start preparing i will try my level best to guide you to mentor you to provide you a support as an individual capacity or as a part of institute in whatever way that you want do let me know if i can help you out in any way but i will once again say if the neat 2022 result is as per your satisfaction congratulations if you think that it was not as per your satisfaction that is absolutely okay god god has must have thought something good for you which you cannot identify at this time probably god may want to see you in some greater better branch college institute though in a long run it does not matter but yes in a short run it matters so don't stop if you think that you have not got what you wanted take care and may god bless you all